In the Lord I put my trust. In the Lord I put my trust. How say ye to my soul? How say ye to my soul? Flee as a bird to your mountain. Flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string. They make ready their arrow upon the string. That they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. That they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? What can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try. His eyes behold, his eyelids try. The children of men. The children of men. The Lord tried the righteous. The Lord tried the righteous. But the wicked and him that loveth violence. But the wicked and him that loveth violence. His soul hates. His soul hates. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares. Fire and brimstone. And, and in horrible tempest, and in horrible tempest, this shall be the portion of their cup. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loves righteousness. For the righteous Lord loves righteousness. His countenance does behold the upright. His countenance does behold the upright. I have read to you out of the book of Psalms, the eleventh chapter of Psalms, verses one through seven. We pray the Lord will bless those that would read, hear, and obey His holy word. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank the song, Brother Ladonna. Praise the Lord. Happy Sabbath to all my Happy brothers Sabbath, and sisters. Brother. And Amen. Thank you all for coming. Mm -hmm. Truly a blessing. Yes. We gather together on the Lord's Sabbath. That's day. right. Thank you all out there on the internet. Today's lesson is called, Is Christ Divided? Mm. And the reason why, because we see a whole lot of denominations in the world and they got their own Bibles. Yes, sir. They got their own doctrines. Right. But not, they all don't ever be on one accord about That's things. Right. That's right. So we're going to point some things out to you. I'm just going to show you, we're just going to show you a few mm -hmm. examples of uh, what what Christ did. Mm -hmm. And we're going to read, read what Christ said. Right. And he's going to show an example whether or not. He says it's okay to be divided, mm -hmm. to have divisions among mm -hmm. us, or we all supposed to be on one accord. All right, brother. So open up your Bibles to 1 Corinthians 11. That's I mean, no, 1 Corinthians 1. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter 1, beginning with verse 1. All right. Give me a minute to get that. Uh, all right, go ahead. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Go ahead. First Corinthians one. Right? right. Yeah. Go ahead. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God and Sothenus, our brother. Unto the church of God, which is in Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that in every place called upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you, and peace from, our, from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf, for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, in Matthew 24, Jesus said, He that shall endure unto the end, the, end. Yes, the same shall be the saved. The same shall be saved, that's right. So we got to keep enduring. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. God is faithful, by whom ye were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye speak the same thing. Whoa. That you speak what? The same thing. The same yes, thing. Sir. Yes, not sir. Some, not, not, divi divided. not divided. Same thing. Not <laughs> this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. All on the same page. That's the same right. thing. Finish that. That's book. right. And that there be no divisions. No divisions. No divisions. Right. Mm -hmm. That's clear. That's right. Go ahead. No divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together 
In the same mind. In the same mind. Yes, sir. Clear. Yes, we sir. keep reading that over and over. In the same mind. Yes, okay. sir. And in the same judgment. Right. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. Now, skip the uh, go ahead to verse 11. Yes. For it has been declared unto me of you, my brethren, mm -hmm. by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, this I say, that every one of you said, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos, and I am of Cephas, and I of Christ. Mm. Is Christ divided? No. We <laughs> see that clearly. We just read three different times. That's right. He don't want divisions. He said also that you all speak the same, same thing, thing. Mm -hmm. and that you be of the same mind. Mm -hmm. Perfectly joined together. That's right. Yes, Amen, sir. Brother. Yes, sir. Now, it, that was, now, we, we can go, go ahead to the next. Go ahead to go ahead to Acts chapter 2. Okay. You want me to finish that up, though? 13. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? <laughs> no. See? Right there. <laughs> All right. All right. Mm hmm Okay. Acts chapter 2. Well, that, 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 that first one was a punch in the face right there. <laughs> it should have been, right? Man. Right there. Because, uh, well, we're we going we gonna to read. Uh, we could stop right there, but let's be line <laughs> upon line, precept upon precept. Amen. There you go, yes, brother. Sir. Acts chapter 2, beginning mm -hmm. you know, on verse 32. Okay. Then Jesus has, then Jesus hath God, this Jesus ha, that God has raised up, whereof we are all witness. Wherefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. Mm -hmm. For well, David is not ascended unto the heavens. Wait a minute. <laughs> Isn't this what the, all these different denominations say? They say when if you believe when you die, you're going to go to heaven. That's what they say. But here's a man after the Lord's own heart, oh, King oh, David, mm -hmm. say he has not ascended up to heaven. That's and Jesus himself tell you in another place right. that no man has ascended up to heaven except he that came down from heaven. That's right, sir. And that was Jesus himself. Yes, sir. Go ahead, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, but he said himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, yes. sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Yes. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter mm -hmm. and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. And be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Okay, you gotta repent and get baptized in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do you know there's one of these many denominations out here that baptizes babies? Mm. Okay, but we have a covenant God. A baby has no clue of, no. that he's going into a covenant with God when he gets baptized. That's right. That's right. So, why do they do that? Why do they do it? That's, that's, not, that's not according to the book either. Because in the Old Testament, a more foundational, sure word of prophecy, it says that from 20 years old and up, oh, and up that's right. That is the age of responsibility. Oh, kind of right? Right. Man's is 21, but the Lord say 20. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right, brother. That's right. They follow that traditions of man. Amen. That's right. That's right. Uh, you finished that, right? I did. 2 Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians 11, beginning with verse 1. Go ahead, bro. All right. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear by less means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Mm. From the simplicity that mm -hmm. is in Christ. Now, we all know the story of Adam and Eve. Eve was, what did it say? Was beguiled by the uh, serpent. Yes, sir. But, and I, and I forgot to mention this in one of the last mm -hmm. lessons, uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eve was beguiled by the serpent, but it was Adam's responsibility That's as right. a man That's right. to say, hey, woman, where you get that from? That's right. No, you know God said, don't do this and don't do that. That's right. So the 
we can't blame Eve on, alone. We, it, Adam was responsible as well. That's Eve right, child. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we did the lesson. Let no man deceive. No man deceive. That's, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. So, don't let, don't be deceived by some doctrine just because it sounds good. Yeah. You got to research it or find out it. Or the book says, <laughs> book says, be spiritually discerned. Try the spirits. Try the spirits. Mm -hmm. And you do that with the word of God. That's right. That's right. Verse 4. Verse 4. For if he that comes preaching another Jesus. What? Another Jesus. That's what the book say. Another Jesus. The Jesus that the world brings. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not the Jesus of this Bible. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, finish that. For if, the, for if he that comes preaching another that. Hmm. I didn't click on their Wi-Fi, so why did it jump off mm -hmm. like that? Because they watch I used to be kind of weak. Uh, yeah. Now you read in verse 4 it says, For if he that cometh preaches another, another Jesus, Jesus that's right. whom we have not preached, not preached. Yes, <laughs> or if ye receive another spirit that we have not received, that's right, mm -hmm. which ye have not received, or another gospel. See, that's the one right there. Another gospel. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because the Bible say what you say, bro? No, I was gonna say, but but you know, if, if you're gonna believe another Jesus, then you're gonna believe another gospel. That right. ain't in the book. Amen to that. Amen. <laughs> right. Jesus said, He that believeth on me as the scriptures have said. As the scriptures have said. So that's this book right here. But if you believe in philosophies of men mm -hmm. or commandments of men, that's right. you you gonna be lost. That's right. You are not following the word of God at all. Uh, you finished that, right? Finish that, yes, sir. Let's go to Romans chapter 10. All right. Romans 10, beginning with verse 1. Let me go ahead. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to, and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Mm. Mm. That they might be saved. Mm -hmm. Is anybody saved now? No, sir. <laughs> Not according to the word of God. That's right. That's right. He said, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. The same shall be saved. But they got to endure exactly. to the end. That's right. That, that's what qualifies. <laughs> exactly. So consequently, if you don't endure to the end, you, you ain't, ain't saved. saved. <laughs> Amen. Somebody, that? somebody just said out to now. Somebody just said out. <laughs> Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God is for Israel that they might be saved. Mm -hmm. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge. Whoa. They have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge, not according to God's knowledge. Mm -hmm. They not reading this book. That's right. That's right. They going off of what they didn't heard mm -hmm. or something that they ain't seen. Right. Right. Keep reading, bro. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Mm. For Christ is the is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. Yeah, my bad on Amen. that. I forgot that okay. was just That's right. You were good. Galatians chapter one. Mm -hmm. Galatians Amen. one mm -hmm. and verse one. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. And all the brethren which are with are, which are with me unto the churches of Galatia, grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who, who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and of our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Yeah. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Right, there it is wow. again, another, another gospel. Another gospel, that's right. <laughs> it's, it's, it, we, can, we did the lesson, let no man deceive you. We can easily be deceived. Mm -hmm. You got some very highly intelligent people in the world, especially Israel. Right. But it's possible to be deceived. That's why the Lord put it in his word mm -hmm. to let us know, hey, there's going to be some stuff out there that you might be like, wow. I'm amazed. I'm astonished at this, mm -hmm. but it's not right. Not right according to the word of God. That's right. That's right. Go ahead and finish. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel Whoa. of Christ. Pervert the gospel. Pervert it. 
Jesus said, many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who are they? They mainly preachers. That's right. Okay, that's right. Go ahead. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him, I'm sorry, but though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Whoa. That's, let him that's be accursed. That's deep. Okay. A third part of innumerable, innumerable angels were kicked out of heaven. And they down here with us trying to get us to turn from God. Right. It said right here, what you just read, mm -hmm. said, but, the, but though we, we, mm -hmm. or an right. angel mm -hmm. from heaven, mm -hmm. yeah. who was the biggest deceiver on this planet? Satan, Satan the devil. He was an angel that was kicked out of heaven. Archangel. Yes, That's sir. right. Mm -hmm. And he's deceiving the whole That's world. That's right. That's right. He said, if he bring you another gospel, let him be a curse. That's right. That's right. Other than what, what has been preached to you. Exactly. Let it be a curse. But you know, brother, I got to tell you, I, I like what Paul says in verse 6. He says, I marvel that you are so soon removed. Exactly. So soon removed. I meant to touch on that. Man. Exactly. Soon Man. removed. Easily deceived. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said stuff. again, we got a hard job, brother. It's, it's not an easy, it's not an easy walk. It's not. It's easy to keep God's commandments. Mm -hmm. But when you're dealing with the world, oh, wait. Is on the way. But you know what, man? It's supposed to be that way. Did he not say that you would be persecuted for my sake? Yeah, that's right. A lot, yeah. a lot of folks don't believe that, though. Man, uh, <laughs> that's right. Uh, what were we going? Galatians 1? No, 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 we're going to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 33. 33. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. That's right, yes, sir. I'm sorry, people, those that are listening, brother, are receiving. Because this is good already, man. We are only six scriptures in. <laughs> It's uh, heavy already. Praise God. For yes, that. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 33 and mm -hmm. verse, eight. verse 8. Go ahead. And when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. Mm -hmm. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Mm -hmm. That's right. We supposed to warn the people. Mm -hmm. Because in the day of the Lord, mm -hmm. He's going to bring destruction. That's right. He got to bring destruction to clean up all the wickedness That's on this right. planet. Mm -hmm. So there will finally be peace on earth. Right. And it's going to be a lot of people that got that great zeal that we read about in Romans 10. Mm -hmm. It's but not according to numbers. So. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> say, haven't we done all these wonderful things in your name, Lord? And he's going to say, depart from me. I never, never knew you. you. Man. That's cold. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Man. We uh, go ahead to verse nine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nevertheless, <clears throat> if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he does not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Yes. Therefore, thou, therefore, o thou son of man, speaking to the house of Israel, mm -hmm. thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them. How should we then live? Mm -hmm. Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, right. but that the, the wicked... Lord, mm -hmm. The Lord don't want nobody to nobody. die, even the wicked. Nobody. But that the wicked turn from his way and live. Yes. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Mm. Okay, uh, verse 30. Right. Mm -hmm. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what the word that cometh forth from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they that come unto thee as the people cometh, and they, and they sit down, and they sit down before thee as my people, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. Whoa. <laughs> they hear the Lord's words, mm -hmm. but they ain't going to do yeah, them. Don't. don't we see that going on today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, mm -hmm. this is all the way back in Ezekiel's time. Mm -hmm. mm. He say, and they sit before thee as my people. Yeah. They claim to be the Lord's yes, people, <laughs> but they ain't going to do the Lord's business. Mm -hmm. uh, that's cold. Mm -hmm. uh, did you finish that? No. 
Go ahead. For, the, for, their, for with their mouth they show much love. Oh. But their heart goes after their covetedness. Mm. Say so their mouth show much love. love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man. And what that what that old song when you say talking loud? Ain't saying <laughs> that. <laughs> there you go, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Isaiah 29. Yes, sir. Isaiah 29 and verse 13. One verse here. Speaking about the same mm -hmm. thing. <clears throat> verse 13, Isaiah 29. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, mm -hmm. and with their lips do honor me, mm -hmm. but have removed their heart far from me, oh. and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Whoa, right not, there. Not the commandments of right. God. But the right. precepts of oh, men. Right there. <laughs> right there. Ain't that something? There's going to be a lot of that going on tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey man, to that. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. The first day of the week. The first Not the Lord's day. Sabbath day. That's right. That's right. That's right. Acts 17. Not 1 Corinthians? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. First Corinthians. I got them all bunched together. That's all right, brother. I got you. <laughs> first Corinthians right. 2. First Corinthians mm -hmm. 2. Mm -hmm. All right. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, right. but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Okay, that's mm -hmm. important. That's important. Not, not man's wisdom, mm -hmm. not man's precept, not man's commandments. Uh, skip down verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, yes. even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Mm -hmm. And why is it hidden? Because it's in a book. Mm -hmm. And Israel don't pick up books. <laughs> they don't read. The main one's supposed to be the preachers, the deliverers of God's word don't even read God's word. Mm -hmm. Ain't that so? They want to be told what the word says. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Which none of the princes of this world knew. Mm. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. That's right. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither having entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Mm -hmm. But God has revealed them unto, his, unto us by his spirit. Yes. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man? Save the spirit of man which is in him. Mm -hmm. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Yes. Now when we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might hope that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Yes. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. That's right, because when, when, when you read the scripture where it says, try the spirits, he say whether they be of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world mm -hmm. to deceive. That's right. You have to try those spirits. That's right. You ever walk into a room, crowded room full of people, and they talking about the word of God, and they know you know the word of God, and they all of a sudden shut up? <laughs> That's that's happened to me several times mm -hmm. because they know you got a different spirit on you. That's right. You got the spirit of God mm -hmm. when they got the spirit of error. That's right. right. But that's, that's a little right. blessing. I ain't going right. to dwell on that. <laughs> uh, where we at now? We are at Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isaiah 30 and verse 1 and skip to 8. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. that take counsel. But not of me. Whoa. Mm -hmm. They take counsel, but not of God. Mm -hmm. They want to hear the words from somebody else. Ain't that what happened to uh, Adam and Eve? Nah. They took, right. Eve took the words from the devil. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we've been dying ever since. Ever since. Okay. Man. They take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, mm. that they may add sin to sin. Okay. Let's get the verse, uh, uh, verse 8. Verse 8. Now go, 
write it before them in a table and note it in a book. Mm. Now you can just hear it. <laughs> just hear it from Israel, especially. That's right. Go ahead. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Mm. That this is a rebellious people, mm. lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which says to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Oh. Speak unto us smooth things. Mm -hmm. Prophesy deceits. They want to hear lies. See. Ain't that something? <laughs> they want to hear the lies. They don't want to hear the truth. Mm -mm. That's a shame. Mm -mm. I finished that, bro. Get out of the way. Turn mm -hmm. aside out of the path. Because the Holy One of Israel caused the Holy One of Israel to cease from before mm -hmm. us. They know That's it's the Word of God, but they don't even want to hear man. God's words. That's a shame. Wow. Uh, That's deep. <laughs> That's deep, bro. Acts 17. So, one of the reasons we, we see that there's so many divisions, so many denominations out here, is because people don't want to hear God's word. They want to come up with their own philosophy. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Acts 17, mm -hmm. you get to verse 15. So. And they that conducted Paul brought him to Athens, and receiving a commandment unto Silas and Timothy, for to, to, for to come to him with all speed, they departed. Mm -hmm. Now when Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was stirred in him, and when he saw the city holy given to, given to idolatry. Mm -hmm. Therefore disputed he in the synagogue with the Jews, and with the devout persons, and in the market daily with them that met with him. Then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and of the Stoics encountered him. And some said, what will this battle say? Hmm. Another, other some, I'm sorry, other some, he seems to be a setter forth of strange gods because he preached them unto them Jesus and the resurrection. Wow. He preached them Jesus and the resurrection <laughs> and they didn't know Jesus. Right. And these is a certain philosophers. So they... They already puffed up in their head thinking mm -hmm. they know everything. Right. All right. 19. Mm -hmm. And they took him and brought him to Areopagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is? <laughs> this new doctrine? New doctrine. No, this is the original doctrine. In, 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 the, in the, the, one of the wisest men on the planet, King Solomon, he said, Ain't nothing new under the sun. Nothing under the sun. That's right. What is this new doctrine? Uh... Yeah, verse 20. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. We would know, therefore, what these things mean. Mm -hmm. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else, but either to tell or to hear some new thing. Mm -hmm. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. Mm -hmm. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, mm -hmm. whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you. Uh, Paul wow. said, no, you, you got an inscription to the unknown God, but mm -hmm. I'm going to show you who he really is. That's right. Hmm. That's deep. Uh, that was it, brother. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 10. Thank you. First Corinthians 10, beginning with verse 1. Moreover, brethren, mm -hmm. I would that ye not be ignorant, now that all our fathers were under the same cloud, and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, mm -hmm. and did eat all the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. That rock was who? Christ. That rock was Christ. Mm -hmm. That was Christ way back with Moses. Yes, sir. Read Exodus 13 and Exodus 14. Let me tell you that. Mm -hmm. That was Christ. That was not God the Father. That's why Jesus said, no man has That's dealt with God. the Father. That's, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. well, yes, sir. Verse 5. Yes, sir. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 9. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, 
and were destroyed of serpents. That's right. They tempted Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I got on here Revealed Concise Bible Dictionary, page 429. This mm -hmm. is talking about the Pharisees. So let me get that right quick. No bunch of history today. Just uh, read that little highlight part. Well, right, we'll starting right right here. Uh, you can read. Start right there. Okay. Background. All right. The first mention of the name Pharisee occurs in the Maccabean period, about 135 BC. While its origins are uncertain, Phariseeism was clearly a lay rather than priestly movement. What? It was a lay lay yeah. movement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rather than a priestly Rather movement. than a priestly movement. But mm -hmm. they're supposed to be servants of God, right? They're supposed to be servants of God. Okay. Nurtured in the synagogue rather than the temple. Mm -hmm. It was an outgrowth of the return to scripture movement initiated during the Babylonian captivity. Right. According to Josephus, there were only about 6,000 Pharisees in Jesus' day. These Pharisees were not necessarily scholars. What? They were not necessarily scholars. They were not scholars. necessarily scholars. No, sir. That's right. But wasn't the scribes and Pharisees one not one they supposed to be studied in the, the scriptures? That's what we thought. <laughs> Keep reading, bro. Although there were rabbis among them, you find that in Acts 5 and 34, instead, these zealous and dedicated men relied on the existing interpretations and applications of Old Testament law formulated by earlier rabbis. Mm. But they said, call mm -hmm. no man rabbi. Call no man rabbi. Oh, yes, okay. Sir. <laughs> Their concern for accuracy in interpretation of the scriptures became an insistence on maintaining the tradition of the elders, mm. Matthew 15 and 2, Mark 7, 3 through 5. Unfortunately, their rules of life cut them off from the ordinary Israelites, mm. who, according to the Pharisees, lacked knowledge and commitment to the law. Whoa. That's enough of that. Man, <laughs> man good read, bro. Wow. Uh, man, so we see that even people that claim to be yes, godly men, mm -hmm. they do their own thing. Do their own thing. Instead of what's written. That's right, bro. Mm -hmm. So, you have to ask yourself a question. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? No, he's not. He is not. It's men that claim to be followers of Christ mm -hmm. that's divided. Yes, sir. We see that over and over again. We're going to see it some more. Uh, Mark chapter 7. Mark 7 and beginning with verse 6. Go ahead. He answered and said unto them, Well has Isaiah prophesied of you, hypocrites, mm. as it is written, This people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Mm -hmm. There it is again. We read that again. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. How be it in vain do they worship me, mm. teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Whoa. The commandments of men, yes, not sir. the commandments of God. Mm -hmm. We're going to touch on it again. Matthew 15. Let's go. Let's go. And this is so prevalent now, man, that, that these preachers just doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big time. But you know what? They're doing what the, pe the people want. That's man. what they want, huh? <laughs> they're, 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 they're hired help. <laughs> did, did not the book say that they, and, and they heap up for themselves preachers? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Teach. See ya. Mm -hmm. They're going to all go straight to the lake of fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sad to say, but mm -hmm. that's, that's where they're going. All um, right. Matthew 15. Yeah. Verse, one. verse 1. Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the traditions of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> I got to just mention this. In today's time, it's 2019. Mm -hmm. You see it all the time. Mm -hmm. People grab something off the plate and don't wash their hands. Mm -hmm. What? What's the big deal in that? What is the big? Deal? I mean, yeah, you gotta be more cleanliness and right. whatnot. You gotta be more sanitary. Right, right. But people do it all the time. Yep. And these these <laughs> Pharisees are making it a doctrine. Right. But let's let's go ahead and finish. Why do the disciples transgress the tradition? Oh, I read that, I'm sorry. Uh, verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Mm. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, 
and he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. Mm -hmm. But ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, and honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition? Whoa. Tradition. I tell you, it's October now. It's going to be a big tradition oh, at the end go. of this month. Here we go. Where people are going to be putting on a bunch of costumes. Here we go. Dressing like dead folks mm -hmm. or skeletons or your favorite comic book hero. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be worshiping the dead. That's right. But God said he is the God of the living, That's not right. the dead. That's right. That's right. A, 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 a matter of fact, another term for it is called Samhain. Mm hmm all Hallow's Eve. All Hallow's Eve, that's right. Or Halloween. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people say, oh, we do it for the kids. Right. <laughs> right. So, but, but Jesus is watching this mm -hmm. because this is a traditional man. That's right. Did Jesus keep Halloween? Negative. <laughs> did Jesus keep Easter? He did not. <laughs> Jesus said, remember my death, not my birthday. That's and people right. say, oh, we're going to do Christmas for the kids. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense. But is this not how Satan has cast? That's the greatest deception on the planet. Yes, sir. We're going to do it for the kids. <laughs> you know, right. I'm telling you, brother. You know. And you know what? And, and, and I'm sure you just like me, but we used to do that. Yes, sir. We used to do that. I was all into that. Yeah. But that's why scripture says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Amen. Welcome Thank to freedom, brother. Thank God for the Amen. truth. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. We ain't finished that. No, we did not. You've got me all off track. Right? Uh, verse 7? <laughs> verse 8. Oh, okay. Uh, verse 8. The people draw near unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Mm. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. There it is again. There it is again. Right there. The commandments of me, mm -hmm. not the commandments of God. That's right, brother. Man, I, I hope somebody's listening. I hope somebody's getting it, yes. Yeah, I hope somebody's getting it. Uh, Man. Isaiah 8. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and verse, verse 9. nine. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces, and give ear all ye of far countries. Gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Mm -hmm. Speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with us. Mm -hmm. For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand, and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, Say ye not, a confederacy to all them to whom this people shall say, a confederacy. Neither fear ye their fear, nor be afraid. Sanctify the Lord of hosts yes. himself, and let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. That's right. What does the proverb say? The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's right. That's right. And he shall be for a sanctuary, mm -hmm. but for a stone of stumbling, and for a rock of offense mm -hmm. to both the houses of Israel, mm -hmm. for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And among many... I'm sorry, and many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. Yes. Bind up the testimony, mm. seal the law among my disciples. Oh. And I will wait upon the Lord that hides his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, yes. which dwells in Mount Zion. Mm. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that pee, and that mutter. Should not a people seek unto their God, for the living to the dead? Mm. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Whoa. They speak not according to this word, there's no light in them. We can read it also in the New Testament where That's it right. say they if they not according to this word, there is no truth in them. That's right. Mm. That's right. That's All right. right. What's the next one? Exodus chapter 12. Exodus 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Old Testament, but we're gonna reiterate it in the new, and we're almost right. done. Praise mm -hmm. God. 
uh, Exodus 12 and 1 verse at verse 49. Exodus 12 and 49. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, bro. One law shall be to him that is homeborn and unto the stranger that sojourns among you. Mm, that's clear. Yep. One law. So that's, that says one law. Whose law? God's law. So if God says, I have a dietary law, you ain't supposed to eat no swine or no unclean thing. That's right. But these other denominations, they say, oh, you can eat anything you want as long as you pray over it, brother. Over it. It's going to be all right. I'm a pray. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a certified, uh, I'm a certified pastor. Let me pray over it and it'll be clean. You can eat it then. <laughs> Somebody told me that a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> have some pizza with some pork on it. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. no. Can't find that nowhere in scripture, bro. <laughs> right. Nowhere in scripture. Right, uh, one law, one law for all, basically. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Let's see this again. Leviticus twenty-four. Yes, sir. Leviticus twenty-four and one verse, verse twenty-two. Okay. Ye shall have one manner of law, mm -hmm. as well for the stranger, as for one of your own country. For I am the Lord your God. That's right. Mm -hmm. One law for everybody. Yes. Everybody's supposed. To when 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 you get to the when you read the New Testament, Jesus kept the Sabbath day. He kept the he kept the feast days. Paul kept the Sabbath day mm -hmm. and the feast days and the dietary law. Because mm -hmm. even though it wasn't talking about food, mm -hmm. Peter himself said, "Not so, Lord. I have not not ate anything common or unclean." Mm -hmm. So everybody supposed to keep the law of God. Everybody supposed to keep God's law. And, and, and we gonna read it in the New Testament where it say to the Jew and also the Greek, or the Jew and the Gentile. Mm -hmm. Did we, did we finish that. Numbers fifteen. Mm -hmm. yeah, we just talking about Numbers fifteen. <laughs> Here we are again. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, verse right. twenty nine. You shall have one law for him that sins through ignorance, mm -hmm. both for him that is born among the children of Israel, yes. and for the stranger that sojourns among them. Mm. The children there of is. Israel and the stranger. And there it is. That's, that's three times, brother. I mean, how many more times? <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> right. <laughs> Let's go to the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Romans 1. So, brother, what we just read in those three instances, brother, is this where we talk about how Scripture verifies Scripture from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we good. Yes, That's sir. right. It, yes, it, 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 it proves itself. Bears it out. Yes, sir. Uh, Romans 1 and 1 mm -hmm. verse, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, mm -hmm. for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Everyone. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. Clear. Yes, sir. All right. Next chapter, Romans 2 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Boom. That's everybody. That's everybody. <laughs> That's everybody. All right. Last scripture, Philippians 2. Okay. Philippians chapter 2, you know, verse 1. Mm -hmm. If there be, therefore, any consolation in Christ, mm -hmm. if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, mm -hmm. fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. That's right. One law for all. One law for all. According to this gospel, one gospel. Mm-hmm. One law for all. What did it say? What did you just read? It said, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. One mind. That's right. It, ain't it a scripture that say that uh, God the Father and God the Son are one? They're one. Right. Mm -hmm. Are they one in physical being or are they one in mind? One mind. That's one No, mind. It's, it's, it's actually says... About God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Holy Ghost, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it say. Mm -hmm. They not one. They not one as a three. trinity. Right, right. They one in mind because mm -hmm. they agree with this word. That's right. That's right. And does it even not say that how can two agree? How can two walk together 
Unless they agree. That means you got to be on the same mind. Amen. Great wisdom, bro. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. All right. Skip to verse uh, 21. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. Whoa. They all seek their own. They come up with their own philosophy. Yes, sir. They're not speaking. They're not, be, they're not on one accord with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to verse 5. Chapter 5. Let this mind be in you, mm -hmm. which was also in Christ Jesus. Yes. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. That's right. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Yes. Wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Mm. And that in the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Mm. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. Mm. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. If mm -hmm. you know how to read, get this word in you. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Get you a teacher that can rightly divide the scripture. Oh, that, see, that right there. Mm -hmm. And it said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Let's go to verse 14 and this will be last. Mm -hmm. Do all things without murmurings and, disputi and disputings. Okay, and why did I put that in there? Because we got denomination after denomination. All the way back in 1844, you had this guy, I believe his name was Joseph Smith. <laughs> okay. A Gentile, at that. Yes, yes sir. But yes, sir. we know that no Gentiles will stand over Israel and teach the word of God. That's right. He said, oh, uh, did I say that? Uh, my bad. The truth is the truth. But Joseph Smith, he made these predictions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure did. That didn't come true. Not one. There was another one. <clears throat> uh, Charles Taz Russell. He made predictions. Didn't come true. Not one. He had his own philosophy on the word of God. Mm -hmm. Just like Joseph Smith did. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, uh, many others did. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus said, many false prophets shall rise and shall, shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. And we can even go beyond that. We can go back to, uh, what do they call those people? The, uh, the ancient Mayans and Aztecs. Mm -hmm. They had a solar calendar. Yes, sir. Okay? It was supposed to be the perfect calendar. Mm -hmm. But on this calendar, it said, yeah. in 2012, 2012, we was all going to be destroyed. It was over. We yes, still here. It's 2019. Yes, sir. Somebody go. Somebody yes, don't know yes, something. Yes, somebody sir. is lacking. Yeah. And they acknowledge wisdom and understand. Yeah. So that's in the lesson. Glory to God. I just wanted to keep it short and brief. Amen. But good. I hope somebody got some understanding and I thank you for your time. Praise the Lord. Glory to God.